Okay. We're back. Hello everyone. So this is gonna be a little bit of a long video. Uh talking about like what are we and what's been happening. Because to be honest, it's like both good and bad is crazy. So oh, what are ways has it's been like over a week now. And there's been loads of issues just straight up lots of issues which kind of divided the community right because the, the people that won had no issues at all fair enough like me I've, I've never experienced anything that's been happening really there's been a bugs here and there but that's kind of about it um the other thing that we've been having is um you know kind of like mismanagement from like modern waves core games um you know there's also issues with the game itself you know the game's not perfect in my opinion um, I'll go into that a little bit more. And we also have a core games response. So that's exciting to look at. Yeah, but first of all, I'm just going to like give my opinion and like my thoughts on what's been happening. I haven't read the response yet, so that's what we're going to do as well. But for now, it's just going to be like, just talking about my experience and what I think. Like what's going really badly. Cool. So before we begin, let's preface this with saying I am playing the game a lot. You know, I've been playing like no stop since it came out. You know, trying to make content on it and all that. And it's really fun. It's, the combat's great, exploration great, but everything else is kind of mid, honestly. So I'm not saying this like, oh, I'm going to quit Wuthering Waves kind of thing. I'm just going to give my opinion on like, what I think is bad, what's been happening, and like more details about them, right? So, kind of what we have, we're here. Let's have like a little bit of a less like serious point, right? So what we have is kind of like the issue with Endgame in Wuthering Waves, or just like lack thereof, to be honest. You know, we're still at, you know, Really trying to get union level 40 so i mean you know we still have a way to go until we we'll reach max level and all that but for now after you finish the story side missions the parkour event which i mean is not even like for things like a one minute thing literally per day after you finish that there's not much else to do right other than exploration if you're on 100 percent but you don't need to right uh, you know some people like what i have pulled up on screen here most of these guys prefer to you know, do endgame, like fight hard bosses, you know, like become good at the game and all that. Currently, there's, there's much of that. And it's not great either. There's no like, you know, that's why this brought because they mentioned like, you know, like incentivizing using certain characters, certain, using certain mechanics of the game, like intro, outro skills, any of that. Like currently, you don't really need to do any of that. You can just play the game like mindlessly and you can win. Um, it's just kind of like, if you over level, you'll be fine. But... You know, there's nothing like stopping you from just like powering through the content kind of thing. Cool. There's nothing like making you like come better at the game using all, all of the various combat features that exist in the game. So yeah, it's kind of fortunate. Then there is the... There's not much to do in the game for me at the moment. I'm just kind of like playing it like day by day kind of thing. Exploring when I feel like it. Killing echoes when I feel like it. Stuff like that. But then we also have like, you know, the, like the bigger issues, right? So we have like videos like this, for example, where... You know, people are speculating, like, why? Like, especially the English voice acting was so bad, right? Because that's a really big issue for me still. Uh, I still hate it. Uh, most of them, other than, you know, I guess, like, Alto, Encore, and Gian a little bit. You know, everyone else just kind of sounds bad. Yeah, so we have the voice acting, which creates videos like this, right? Like, kind of like speculation videos. So, like, what's happening? Why is Coral Games doing this badly? Why is it doing that? Why is it doing this? And these kind of things are just, like, speaking to the community, right? Which is kind of, like, it doesn't feel nice, in my opinion. Like, that's the thing, right? So, why would I make... Why would I invest time, like, effort into a game that, you know, the community doesn't even know if they should play? Right? And we've until like today literally like an hour ago maybe we haven't had like a real response about anything really from Kuro games yeah they've given us rewards and stuff you know you know people have been saying that oh yeah they've been trying to bribe the player base maybe i don't know um but i mean it is nice i'm not gonna lie free stuff but you know it's nice if they actually like resolve some of these issues at some point so there's stuff like this right with voice acting it's bad what happened and in the end like we know as Simon told me, we found out that, you know, Curve Games actually doesn't have any money left. You know, they had to switch, um, what do you call it, like voice acting studios. So they, you know, moved from like 
the Los Angeles one to one in London, UK, which I mean, I guess that's cool. Um, but just, you know, this had like issues with direction. Voice actors only had like one or two takes. Yeah, but it's not, not great like managing of like the English voice acting, which unfortunate, but what can you do? Uh, there were some great moments, don't get me wrong, but just like, you know, like Yang Yang still has like voice bugs. And just the voice lines are kind of mad, bad. You know, Rover's voice lines are all kind of mid or bad. So, yeah, unfortunately, what can you do? So, yeah, but there's that, but hopefully that's going to get fixed. I don't know. Uh, kind of like redubbing the whole game. I don't know if that's ever going to happen. It's just going to have to be like it is. And in 1.1, hopefully we get better dubbing. That's about everything we can hope for. Cool. So there's voice acting. English voice acting to be specific. If you play, if you don't like the English voice acting, play in Japanese. It's like really high quality anime, basically. Then we have game bugs and just the game not working in general, right? So ever since the game came out, a lot of people have been able to play. Uh, you know, even I myself got asked to help. You know, I have zero viewers and some guy came in and I was like, oh, can you help me by giving us some work? Like, what? I don't know. But yeah, we have that. Um, but then we have stuff like this. You know, this has been a thing since the 24th of May, apparently. So, uh, you have May. And, um, yeah, it hasn't been, like, really patched out yet. So, yeah, Mr. Proki just made a video on it yesterday, I think it was. Yeah, basically, you can just break the game, slow everything down, make it easy to play. Yeah, unfortunate. And there's been bugs like this, right? They've been trying to fix them. Which is, like, why do these things? So, this one's a little bit more complicated of a bug, right? But it's, like, just stuff like the game not working right like why is like crow games releasing a game that's kind of like bad you know for all people and stuff like that there's also the other side of the argument is that you know people are just trying to play the game on like old and bad devices right which i mean it's kind of true like you know we're in 2024 now you can be using like PC parts and stuff from like 2010, 2015, stuff like that. You know, like what do you expect? Like phones from like 2015, right? Like, no way. So, there's that as well. But it's still like, you know, it's like a free game. You'd expect like not to be that, you know, hard on your device and stuff like that. I don't know. But then, you know, again, later we found out, you know, it's Unreal Engine. Uh, and they had issues with like their staffing. Um, you know, they like, there was that whole thing like firing interns, or like not interns, but like people before they pass their probation. Uh, there were things like the main Unreal Engine guy on their team that got fired or he left or something. So, you know, there's, there's been issues right, with the development of the game. But just like, uh, then, you know, maybe slow down a little bit, maybe do something else, I don't know. But yeah, it's kind of lucky. But again, for me, I wasn't affected. So I don't really care about this, but it's just like, you know, the community feel, right? Like if people are asking themselves, oh, should I keep playing this? You know, when they fix this issue, should I play this game kind of thing? Just like... Like, I don't know, it just kind of feels bad, you know? Then, another community feels bad moment. The Japanese translation for Jian Sword. That's been a whole thing. God. And now, to, to be honest, for now, it's mostly been like the English community that's been like getting fucked over, basically. But now, you know, with this thing happening, the Japanese community again fucked over, basically. It kind of just like. You know, because I thought, oh yeah, only the English, uh, like, Bothering Waves team has, like, you know, no money, no resources, no this, no that, right? But then I look at this, and I'm like, even the Japanese one, really? Like, they're, they spend a lot of money there, like, you should care about them a little bit, compared to, you know, Europe and America and stuff like that. So, yeah, that's crazy. And it hasn't ended well either, so we'll see what happens with that. Now, I haven't really heard much since, like... Two days ago, I haven't like looked into it too much, but yeah, for now it's just been the whole mess with the email, with managing, with saying how they're gonna help everyone individually, but they're actually not. That's crazy. Um, but yeah, and trust me, I know bad customer service, and this is this is pretty bad. This is this is not great. You're just like saying you're gonna do one thing and then you're not. You're doing some something else, which I'm kind of just disappoints the community because that's what happened in the end right everyone's just disappointed like oh why are they messing this up why are they missing refunds all that but yeah there's been that not great even the japanese community is in shambles just another thing here to point out just more bugs that i've experienced right so this was like day one 
so a lot of bugs on that one you know like kind of important bugs like this thing like you know like voice line skipping like what is that about like if their voice lines are too long then like fix it or change it or something um then there's been stuff like this where somehow the audio got delayed to what's happening on the screen and that can just kill the whole cutscene and this was supposed to be like the best cutscene in the game right so that's great then we've also had recently it's been patched out now thankfully but what we've had is no background music in other ways that's been so much fun yeah it's been so good you know we have videos like this where like we're not playing the act 5 to 6 and she doesn't have any background music like that sucks for like everyone and this has been like immortalized in this video now and this is like me now right like a big ass catch a youtuber and a streamer like Otherwise, it's not gonna escape this, you know? Like, she, she's complaining about the background music throughout this video. Which... You know, it's not, it's not great, you know? Just, just like... Riling up the community even more, kind of thing, you know? But it got fixed, so now it's fine, but like... You know, now it's immortalized in this video, kind of thing, right? But yeah, we have that. And then we have, like, just a general, like... Just of the game. They need to figure out how to explain things easier. Like, I was trying to explain to one of my best friends about like the ecosystem and like the data bank and all that, how it works. And it took me a while. It took me like over an hour to try to figure out a way to explain it that made sense, right? So that's why I even made this video. Because like I'm guessing if my friend doesn't get it and like he's played gadgets and like games for his whole life, right? Like, like what do like casual people think? Like they try to read about echoes or about like you know, like, resonance liberation, resonance skill damage, resonance, like, intro-outro skills, like, all that, like, even I don't understand, like, to be honest, what an intro-outro skill is, I just don't like when you switch, and the forte bars fall up, only like, they do an extra attack or something. I don't know, I don't really care, to be honest, because I don't really know how to learn that, so yeah. Um, and I haven't, like, watched the video on it yet. But it's just, like, they need to figure out how to explain this easier. And there's also been stuff like this in like the simulated universe mode. I, I still don't remember what the name is in game. But it's just been like whenever you get like character upgrades, though those upgrades are so long that you just like give up reading. Like that's what I do. I just like choose whatever looks fine, I guess. I don't really read it to like get like a good understanding of what it does, because it's just too much. I don't like why am I reading like a paragraph to for a skill upgrade? Like you know what I'm saying? It's crazy. But I guess that's what like low budget thing and no money does, I guess, or something like that. But yeah, it's kind of rough right now. So I'm kind of like in a pretty moment right now where, you know, due to the community being like so angry, so like disjointed, um, all of that. For now, I'm going to read the developer's response now. But for now, like in the second one, I'm thinking it's just, you know, I'm going to stop... I'm not gonna spend any money on this game and I may not even play this as my main gacha really. I may like go back to some to like Honkai Star or something like that because it just kind of feels bad right now. It just didn't they need to fix a lot of things. And this is not to say that like it's main competitor Genshin Impact is perfect for example, right? Like again making a comparison even though I don't want to because I don't really care about that. The whole thing. I just I want this to be a good game and it's not right now. So yeah, it just has like two good things holding it up, just combat and exploration in my opinion. But otherwise, everything just kind of sucks. <laughs> I'm just going to be straight up, it's just, it just kind of feels bad. That's that for me. So I'm just going to not spend any money for now, try to get Yin Lin if I can. Um, but yeah, and I'm thinking about like maybe stop playing as much as I am right now. But yeah, maybe like go back to some other games and stuff like that. So now, what we have is it's kind of like the developer's response right so we have this thing on youtube um uh, since no official launch of modern ways we have already received a lot of valuable feedback and suggestions through social media and in-game surveys we genuinely grateful for your attention and support we apologize for the deficiencies and issues present in modern ways our first fully independent developed and globally published game at crew games sure but then Like, it is your first game, but I don't care. I want a good game. You know, kind of thing. And, you know, you built up the hype so much. You know, you spent on marketing and all that. And now what happened? 
you know that's kind of that's kind of like the feeling that it's just like what, what happened um you know you went to like Times square in new york you like i'm pretty sure you've done things in china and japan and like some other big countries like what happened you know like anyway we've worked on optimizations and iterations of the 1.0 version yeah uh, just some of the most discussed and concerned issues we can check more details through the link cool so here we go so let's see what we have we have a bunch of things i mean let's just start going through this uh, i like the ominous music that's happening now so that's pretty fun cool so greetings we're the dev team this is official launch we received a lot of helpful feedback blah blah we apologize for the deficiencies it's full independent blah blah okay number one on the echo development experience feels grindy and inadequate energy materials they are aware of the current echo leveling experience feels too grindy and the game lacks a wave plate storage system we have confirmed and will implement the following adjustments while we are working internal solutions to address other common concerns they will launch a limited time echo material double yield event. Okay, but what does that mean though? Will adjust the progression system to reduce the shell credit cost of echo development? You know, I haven't like experienced this too much, but I, I, if that's a problem, then that's bad. In version 1.1, we'll remove the reward cutscene of the tested field. Yeah, allow. It takes so long. <laughs> From version 1.1 and forward, the yield of echoes and echo development materials will be increased. Okay, upcoming updates will introduce the wave plate storage system. Interesting. Now, to be honest, for echoes, the only thing I'm looking for really is just to remove the tuners. Like, that's so stupid and extra for no reason, I feel like. Like, why have two types of resources that you need for echoes? Like, Okay, if I'm raising up a legendary echo to level 25, why would I not want to unlock the substats? Like, hello? <laughs> anyway. Yeah, so, I mean, this sounds all good, but like, I don't know how much better that experience will be. Uh, regarding our handling of the reward system error when recycling developed echoes. Reward system error? What does that mean? Echo sense more the amount of shell credits players obtained when recycling it was wrong. We fixed this problem through an emergency live update on the same night and issues conversation. Wow, I didn't know that. Well to issue an announcement of this issue in the first instance, which will really cause negative experience for our project. We apologize. Well, that's great, so they knew, but they didn't tell you. Like, that's all kind of another thing that I've been, especially with the English voice, uh, not English, like, voice thing, English Water and Wave team. They've been quiet. Too quiet, I feel like. Like, on Twitter, for example, when uh, the things about, like, um, what was that? What was the first thing? Like, when they give the free 5-star limited choice thing, ticket, they didn't mention that on the English thing anywhere, like on Twitter or anything like that. We found out from Billy Billy or from like whatever Twitter thingy they use in China, right? Which I mean, it's kind of like, okay, sure. <laughs> they could give us 1 million credits. That's crazy. If we have been losing that many credits. God. June 10th. You need to have the mailbox. Okay, we promise that that'll be better, blah, blah. Additionally, to adjust the pre-experience with ecosystem will come to our with crystal solvent. Oh, wow. Wow. 20. Yeah, that's a lot of stamina. Okay. I mean, cool, I guess. There are on the five star <laughs> with my description. Yikes. Um... The English one has been accurate, I feel like, but apparently there's been like issues in like some other languages, which is kind of crazy. Um, I kind of like, especially in Japanese, I feel like, you know, reading like the way they wrote Japanese is just like wrong, <laughs> which is funny. Um, 
There's an internal review of the localized versions of the in-game text across all languages that we support. And the coming updates, so I apologize. In the meantime, we'll offer one time was on Forging Tides 5 to all of us for the non-localization issue. Cool. Sure. As we, that's like five limited pulls, right? As we endeavor to constantly improve localization quality across different languages, we encourage you to provide us with your comments or suggestions on improving the localization and experience of players. Cool. Sure. Oh no, this is this is spicy. On version events. We received extensive feedback on the duration and rewards of the Overdash Club event. <laughs> We are currently in the process of redesigning the rules and reward schemes for the upcoming events in the immediate solutions are below. Choose a new limited time social event. What are in exploration to offer new rewards and content to improve your game experience? Okay, so a new event. A bunch of Ashtrite. Some Echoes, Premium Tuners, Premium Seal Tubes. Yep, and then we'll make events better. Sure. On future version updates. Timeline. Since the official launch, we've received extensive feedback recording regarding the game storyline, localization, and various other aspects. We're listening closely, infusing support from our players, which has exceeded our expectations. To allow our early access to experience more content and features, in other ways, in version 1.0, we decided to advance the release of subsequent content in version 1.0 starting on the 6th of June. This release will include a companion mission. Or Yin Lin. Oh my god. I don't smell that many more spin off events and features. I mean, but like, yeah, that's cool. I mean, that's great, in my opinion, because, you know, it gives us more content quicker. But like, doesn't fix the issue. What if. The second part of 1.0 still doesn't have that much content. And now we have even more time to complete the content. So we're going to run out quicker. Like, why? Hmm, interesting. Sure. It's also like people haven't, you know, played the game that much. You know, like I'm guessing like casuals, right? They haven't had time to like complete everything yet, right? So me and like, you know, the streamers and stuff that are complaining about like not enough content and stuff like that. It's because just we play 24-7. Like, I'm pretty sure that's not the case for most people. So people are just going to be, like, maybe overwhelmed with how much is going on. You know, maybe they haven't had time to, you know, get enough Ashtrite to pull Yin in. Like, that's, that's going to suck. Um, so, okay, cool. I mean, for me, that's great. But, like, I don't know about the, everyone else. Well, that's until 28th of June. So we're going to have from the 6th until the 28th. Like, I don't know about that. Oh, Jinxi and Changli is coming up. Yes, great. And a new boss. And a new area. Oh no, not the mountain. <laughs> Bro, they're literally copying Genshin, it's crazy. Um, comes if any inconvenience caused by this version. We will issue comes if for and Radiant Tide. Cool. Now, is that the limited pulls? I don't remember which one's which. Anyway. On combat and control experience optimization. <laughs> yep. Uh, player identified following issues. This will be like auto aiming, auto lock on, and camera performance in battle. To be honest, I haven't really felt this like um, camera thing going on. So I can't really comment on this, but I mean, it's great if they fix it. I guess because a lot of other people have been complaining. What's the ex ex existing combat state unexpected? They mean exiting. Cool. Localization issues. <clears throat> okay. I'm pretty sure Google Translate should be able to translate that. Okay. Um, in recent updates, we have optimized the aggro ranges for certain bosses, including Thunder Memphis, Crownless, Lampilum Myriad, and Prince Heron. To leave the combat state to reduce some normal damage. Sure. Cool. I've experienced that like once or twice, so it hasn't been too crazy for me. We'll introduce a disengage warning feature. Well, that's cool. Ghost damage issues on mobile. Okay. 
okay so i'm more about things that i don't care about the level ability of custom came by in the future i mean i should care about this because this is a lot of the players right so i mean good for you hello mobile players uh the level ability for of custom keybinding feature oh you weren't able why not why can't you change your keybinds like straight away okay that's weird we also introduced a new player tutorial for using a custom keybinding feature and we'll gradually support more custom keybinding options for both keyboard mouse controller okay sure a tutorial okay uh controller mode sure hello control players you probably played a lot of dark souls eh uh poor game feel design and impact in signification constantly improve the event signification and game feel design for characters and monsters enhancing the overall combat experience and positive feedback during battles okay um for characters and monsters oh okay i mean no, no, it's kind of like some like level one monsters basic nothing too crazy um so yeah then on the other contents no purchasing for store items like flower <laughs> for accidental purchases okay sure i did the weekly purchasing for certain items in the store that's crazy. Spending all your money on flour. God. If this is like a thing that many people must have done that. Like, hello, what are you doing? But anyway. Audio and sound effects. Yes. Audio and sound effects. You have fixed the background music. Thankfully. But like, if that ever happens again or some bullshit like that. Like, that's not going to be good. God. Then performance issue, crash and stability. Crash and stability. Yeah. Yeah. I mean, I feel like this is like the only thing that they've been working on, in my opinion, right? It's just like the optimization issues. Instead of like other things, like the game, <laughs> you know, like content and stuff like that. Like, okay. Deaths of Elusive Realm event optimization and updates. Okay. So they make it better, including more playable characters, new challenges, new mechanics, and new buffs. Cool. Apart from the adjustments mentioned above, we recognize that there are still many issues in the game that affect player experience. We're committed to listening to every single piece of feedback to make modern ways better. We'll share and communicate further updates and optimization progress with you actively. Additionally, we'll continue to gather player feedback through version surveys. Sure. We've been disheartened by our inability to provide a high quality gaming experience to all rovers. Yikes. We are still continuously releasing better versions that contains our goal and mission and we will always strive to uphold them. Finally, we sincerely thank all robots for continuous attention and we and we've respond for modern waves. The dev team. I don't know man. Like echoes, yes. Uh, we need more echo XP and tuners, please help me. I only have one character build. Because I'm getting bad rolls. Crazy, I know. I don't... Again, you can say... Oh yeah, we're only at the beginning of the game. Like, the game hasn't even, like, finished yet. Like, it's also, like, leveling and all that, right? But, like... Come on, man. It just feels bad. Like, why give us legendary echoes... If we can't level them? Kind of thing, you know? Like, the data back... I don't know, it just feels weird, man. Like, why are we jumping straight to legendaries from, like, you know... You can be, like, level 20-something and you can have legendary echoes. Like, that's kind of weird i don't know yeah the guess is you unlock legendaries are like level 50 60 you know like count level 50 60 right but here you can just unlock it if you kill a bunch of echoes <laughs> like i don't know um it just feels bad okay there's also like the issue with like the purple and blue tuners like what if why do those exist if we can unlock legendary echoes like straight away like anyway and why are you giving them us those give us only legendary tuners like come on uh i know there's like this like a you know sweaty player type top but like god um regarding our handling of the reward system yeah the recycling thing that's bad that's good that they fix and they're gonna give us 20 crystal solvent that's a lot of stamina that's a lot that's 1200 stamina right 
something like that, I don't know. Um, but yeah, like, uh, then we have that, and then the five star weapon description. Yikes, not great. They're gonna compensate us, which is nice. Then version events, overdash club thingy sucks. The rewards are just like, man, whatever. To be honest, I didn't really consider the rewards that much. Because to be honest, for me, the like, what we had to do compared to the rewards that we got, I feel like, I felt like it made sense. So I wasn't too unhappy about that, but it's just like, the event itself sucked. And at the timeline, pushing the timeline forward, I don't know about that. I'm still, uh, I'm still 100% on that. I don't feel like that's good. Cause like, again, people haven't completed the game, and then people have completed the game, and like, will complete this quickly, now we have to wait like three weeks. Sort of like two, like normal, right? Or something like that. Like, I don't know. You know, camera, all of these gameplay things, again, I haven't experienced them, so I mean, it's good that they're fixing them, but I don't really care. Cause I haven't experienced that. Purchase limits on items, sure, okay. Audio, that thing where it wasn't no background music, that sucked, but it's not fixed. Crashes, the simulated universe thingy. Yeah, right now it just feels kind of bare bones. You can only do like a couple of things, right? You can like replay it that much until like it gets boring. Uh, so yeah, it's good that they're adding, which I mean, I would hope that they would be adding stuff. I don't know why this is like has to be like a like, or, like an emergency notice kind of thing. Like, okay, I would expect it to do that in 1.1. But yeah, and there we have it. It's, uh, it's interesting. So yeah, I don't know that. I don't know. I feel like this wasn't like enough. To... Like yeah, we're getting a bunch of free stuff again. But I feel like this wasn't enough to like appease the community still, I feel like. Because it's just like there's so many like fishy things happening and stuff like that. Like the game is good, but like everything else around it is bad. <laughs> I feel like, I don't know. That's kind of like the feeling I'm getting as well. Like, I can haven't like done 100% research or anything like that. Which is like from what I've been hearing and stuff. Ain't looking great, but yeah. And there you have it. Cool. For now, I mean, I'll keep playing the game. It's really fun. It's just like, a, just like the community doesn't feel good about it. So, you know, it's going to make everyone feel bad about it as well. Unfortunately. Because they're going to have like, you know, negative and positive people. Which is a good thing and a bad thing on both sides. So... Like, yeah, like, you know, this is like, people are saying, like, oh, just enjoy the game because it's good, but it's not that easy. I feel like, I don't know, but I am. And that's about it. Goodbye.